Hi, my name is Paul Wheaton. I've created over 20 videos on rocket stove technology and given them away for free on YouTube. For those of you who haven't heard of rocket stoves and rocket mass heaters, this could be the cleanest and most sustainable way to heat a conventional home. Some people have reported that they heat their home with nothing more than the dead branches that fall off the trees in their yard. And they burn so clean that a lot of sneaky people are using them illegally in cities without detection. If you are sick of the fracking and other energy-based pollutions that are dominantly caused by heating, you might well be damned interested in this technology. Recently, there was a workshop far more advanced in rocket stove technology than anything else ever done. The workshop quickly sold out and people begged for it to be videoed. They promised that they would buy the DVDs. So, now the time has come for those folks to put their money where their mouth is. In looking over the footage, I see no way to compress this into one DVD. So I'm going to offer four different DVDs and folks can pick and choose what they want. When the workshop started, Ernie and Erica did their fire science demo. This is three and a half hours of information which will be packed into a two hour DVD and the biggest expense will be to have animations made to help clarify some of the finer points. On Saturday, we built a rocket mass heater in 44 minutes. This was using a special core that was able to burn about a thousand degrees hotter than any rocket core previously built. This was a style of rocket mass heater that can be taken apart and loaded on a truck in under an hour. On Sunday, the focus was on hot water with this technology. We usually refer to this as boom squish because of the dangers of building these improperly. Finally, we created a J-tube rocket stove that could heat water faster than the propane-powered turkey cookers. And the rocket stove used just a few twigs. Just for fun, we used the J-tube rocket stove as a poor man's foundry and we reshaped some steel and iron. No need for fans or bellows like other foundries. This last DVD will also include footage for the pocket rockets. There you go, four DVDs. I'm up for doing it if you're serious about buying.